Welcome to the video, everybody. We're down to two of these bags left. Got them for $5 each. These are all from the same place. I'm kind of staying with these instead of going to the other group of bags right here because um, the last couple of bags, uh, we have been finding some pairs and I believe we have another pair. So this cute little panda is going to be a pair. Yay! We like pairs of earrings. And then this, I've got more of these. Where did they go? So these are button covers, so I've got some more of those. This looks like it's another one. It's not Malachi. It's just a plastic. Yeah. Upon closer inspection. This might say something down in there. Probably Avon. Monet. Okay. It says Monet. Be nice to have the other one of those. Yeah. Fake gold coin. Very thin. So we have two of those now. This is a little bit hard to read. You wouldn't think it'd be that hard. D A U L A T S E, something like that. Daltese. I don't know, I've gotta look that one up. That's a big one, but I think there's just one. Yeah, she's been splitting these up. And she really hasn't been putting much silver in here. Um, last time I had some of her bags, we got quite a bit of silver, two and three pieces out of each bag. But uh, what can I say? We're enjoying it, they are kind of unique looking. That's nothing. It's a Geneva. I believe these are plastic. Probably going to do both of her bags tonight. Some, some of your big silver tone hoops. Definitely not worth $5. That's cute. I don't know if that's missing something. That's an unusual design, isn't it? 
Let me see what this says. Patent pending upside down. Yep. That's a kind of a cool earring there. Is that it? No, there's a couple of little broken chains. And we'll end with that one on a little enamel butterfly. Cute, that one's cute. And let's just get the last of our bags. This is a gold tone bag, $5. We had one of these in the other. I don't know how it goes now. There. One of those in the other bag. And I'm sure it's over there somewhere. So I don't really like that. I may not have I may not be going in there again. Cause it just really wasn't worth it not to be a downer on it all, but that's an interesting piece there. That'd be um, hard to wear that as an earring, but as to wear it as something else might be interesting. Gold tone, little white one. No marks. This is like a tangled mess. I just want to see how this goes. And it's broken, of course. Otherwise, it would have been kind of cool. That goes in there. But how does that close? The clasp is gone. It's not magnetic. Hmm. I don't know. Probably gold plated brass. Sorry, Billy Bob. This little S has something on the back of it.
So how's everybody doing? I've been watching videos and boy, it's been Sunday night. There's so many good videos on and people showing the jewelry and always something to look forward to and do when you like jewelry on YouTube. We may have to just let some of this go. I don't see any markings. I'll double check that one. And I just want to see what what we have on the back of this one. Trafari. I don't know if it's broken because um Oh, there's the crown, huh? The little crown. I'm curious to see if this other other side is broken or not. But I'm probably not going to be able to do that right now. Looks like it might be okay if that's it right there. Yeah, that's going to take some time. So, uh, Crown Trafari S Initial. What is this? Another broken piece? So that's what we got from her, and we're done with her. Um, I don't know that I'll go back in there, y'all. Because if I do, I'll have to buy it, but it certainly wasn't worth it. Uh, we just got the two pieces of silver out of there, out of 20-something dollars worth of bags. And a bunch of... She's getting a little sneaky now that I've talked to her. And I wanted to buy her jewelry before she put it in bags. All right, thanks for joining us. See y'all next time.